this injustice, it's, it's really uh, it bothers me. We are human beings, we need some dignity and, and a proper treatment. Let's not forget the, the fact that we bring huge amount of money for this company. I mean, we're talking millions here. That's Marcin Wojciak komt uit Polen en is 49 jaar. Hij kwam naar Nederland nadat zijn horecabedrijf failliet ging. Hij hoopte hier een nieuwe start te kunnen maken. Sinds drie jaar woont hij op park de Bosruiter in Zeewolde. Samen met zo'n 1500 andere arbeidsmigranten. This park, this facility, in general is a good idea. Um... However, we are separated from um, the Dutch society. Um, we don't have much chance of um, knowing each other. Yes, we do have a convenience store shop. We have a gym. Uh, we have parking lots. In general, it looks good. But uh, what's missing is this hospitality. And um, the feeling we have is uh, we are not, we are just the product. In the living room. It's nice and cozy, to be honest with you. That's the way we make it, to be homely. Every employee of the park um, has the key to our houses and our rooms, actually. So um, they often don't, don't knock, they just walk in, they don't say, that we don't have a notice that no, somebody will come. Uh, so we're mostly surprised about their visits. And uh, this, uh, this guy came in, I wanted to fix something in, in our bathroom, um, which uh, I wanted to use um, before work. And uh, make a story short, he was very aggressive and uh, refused uh, to my, my needs and um, basically told me to get the hell out of here if I don't like it. Many other people have been kicked out uh, without a chance to, to um, defend themselves. Martin works samen with the vakbond om de omstandigheden voor arbeidsmigranten in Nederland te verbeteren. What happened uh, so far was when you lose a job, uh, you lose accommodation and within 24 hours you have to pack your stuff and leave. Um, which doesn't give you a chance to find another job and still be here. Nice to meet you. My name is Linda. Welcome. You're coming for the interview. I'm That's nervous. right. Yes. I'm at the stage that I'd like to grow uh, within one of the companies. Uh, I'd like to use my uh, abilities better than, than now and earn more money uh, at the same time. Um, but eventually um, I'd like to use uh, my knowledge and um, make it work with the company who will see uh, mm, what I can do. Because I, I can be a, actually a good asset to, to some of the companies. That's what I think. Um, yes, I uh, need to put more effort on learning the language. That will make my life probably much more easier than, than it is now. Right. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Martin hoopt werk te vinden dat beter aansluit bij zijn ervaring en om uiteindelijk een eigen woning buiten het park te vinden. In de praktijk blijkt dat lastig. Most of us, I mean, every each of us probably here, uh, mm, we uh, are facing a minimum wage. Uh, that means that in reality, um, our the money we got per hour is 10 euro per hour. So um, I'm quite lucky with the company I work for because they trying to um, live up to my expectations, the 40 hours a week. Sometimes I get more, 
uh, if, I, uh, if there is a chance to work Saturdays or Sundays. Toch zijn de 40-urige werkweken met een minimumloon niet genoeg om een eigen appartement te huren. Hij pleit daarom voor het verhogen van het minimumloon. If I get, uh, let's say, 15 euro per, per hour, I would probably be able to afford uh, living by myself uh, outside. We don't have rights. We um, we're just most of us are afraid to say anything. Um, they uh, they don't fight for themselves, and probably why I um, joined F and A because I felt these people care about us, and they actually able to do something about it. So here I am. I mean, uh, I'm one of them. One of the people living here. But I want to say something about this, and, and I do. Um, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to fight with people who own places like this. I want to give them a message that things could be done better. And uh, that will be a both, for both of our sake, uh, benefits. Um, every, it's a win-win situation. If they just listen to us and treat us better, uh, the, the whole um, atmosphere would, would improve.